at 5.30, we are breaking new details on the arrest of two people here in Indianapolis for the brutal murder of an Illinois man. It's a story RTV6 first broke last night. You saw a video of one of the suspects being taken into police custody. We have now learned part of this investigation centers around an Indianapolis firefighter and questions about whether he helped one of the murder suspects evade the law. Reporter Jack Reinhardt has a story you will see only on RTV6. 23-year-old Rayshon Johnson, police say, shot a 74-year-old Illinois cancer patient to death, burned up his body, then wrapped the corpse in a rug and tossed it into a river. Police say that his girlfriend, 24-year-old Vashon Mills, helped Johnson dispose of the body before they each fled to Indianapolis. The Metro Police SWAT team arrested Rayshon Johnson yesterday at this home here in the 300 block of Bancroft. Officers fired tear gas rounds into the upstairs bedroom. They found Johnson hiding in a downstairs closet. The SWAT team simultaneously served a warrant on the west side condo of Indianapolis firefighter Lieutenant Aaron Thomas, believing that Johnson might have been inside. Police believe that Thomas provided meals, transportation, and money to the fugitive Johnson. We know that he was aware of what the suspect had done. Uh, we believe that he assisted him in a couple of ways that he probably shouldn't have. In September, police were called to Thomas's condo on a report of a disturbance with a gun after a man threatened to shoot Johnson, who was inside. And in 2008, Thomas shot and killed a man in his personal vehicle in a parking lot at 30th and Georgetown. He said he had given a ride to a stranger, who he said pulled a gun on him. Thomas was injured, but wrestled the gun away and shot and killed the 19-year-old suspect. And now Thomas is under investigation again in connection with a crime of violence. He made some bad decisions, you know. Uh, what, what these people were involved in and how this crime was committed, I don't think that I would have done with the things that he did. Again, he knew exactly what had happened? I can prove that he did know. Indianapolis fire officials confirmed this afternoon that the police department's special investigation unit has launched their own investigation into Thomas's alleged involvement with the murder suspect. In Indianapolis, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6. Now, Vashon Mills appeared this afternoon in a Woodford County, Illinois courtroom. She's charged with a felony count of concealing a homicide and is held on a quarter of a million dollars bond. Johnson appears in court tomorrow charged with first-degree murder. His bond has been set at $1 million.